since I retired, I've had more time to paint. And uh, so I'm going to walk through a chronological order of what's been happening. So 10 years ago, I was doing landscapes with a palette knife. I thought that was uh, going to help me get through uh, in a quicker process and I really enjoyed it. Uh, so these works are all palette knife. Um, then we had an exhibition of old railway carriages in Juni and I found, as you can tell, palette knife is not going to work. So I have uh, gone to a whole different technique of using very thin glazing layers of colour, uh, hard edges, to suit the medium, the uh, subject. So these are two examples of what I saw with the, uh, the windows of the train, uh, basically colour and structure. Uh, and when I finished that, uh, that was sort of like a one-off. I thought I'd go back to landscape painting, which I really liked. Uh, I really love Cezanne and Van Gogh, uh, particularly Cezanne's structure. So I sort of continued on the theme of the, the linear nature and structure that came into the landscape, which you can see in the sky. And of course, Australia's landscape is so vast and you've got the distant horizon, so it suits really well, you can tell it was fun. Uh, so I really like the whole idea of the linear nature of the, uh, the way the landscape, landscape is constructed, and of course, the rich colour. And that brings us on to Lawnsley Buff in the Flinders Ranges, which I love the Flinders. And I kind of really abstracted the whole structure first, then put the colour on, uh, and the texture, and it kind of has a surreal sort of moody feel to it, which was accidental. I didn't know how it was going to turn out. Uh, but I was very really happy with that. Um, and then moving over here in this corner, um, I sort of took it down, took the texture out, it just had the structure and colour of the lake uh, near Lock Hill, you might uh, recognise this lake, uh, and um, ended up with this more pastel muted colour uh, that I felt it suited the, um, the subject. The one in the corner is just a bit of fun, I just sort of threw a bit of paint on and uh, that's what we got. I quite enjoyed that. Then COVID struck. So I started painting close to home. The other thing that I will say is up until now everything is oil paint and from here we've got to change to, to uh, what I'm calling synthetic polymer emulsion. Um, I didn't like the fumes of oil paint that was getting for me so I decided to go away from that. Had to change my whole technique because uh, this painting is just quite different from oil paint. Uh, this is um, streets around and areas around Blackwood. So I've got the Blackwood Railway Station in these first two, uh, and then uh, Car Street and Station Avenue where I live. Just local nighttime scenes. I just wandered around at night having a look. And uh, I was quite happy with the way they turned out, and they just say something about the suburbs, which what, you know, I think is just pretty important. The last three paintings, uh, my wife and I had a mad dash up to uh, Darwin. Uh, last year we managed to fit in between lockdowns and uh, you might recognise this is uh, the breakaway or the breakaways um, just out of Coo uh, They are spectacular. We did a night tour and all the sunset coming in and this is brilliant. Uh, this is uh, one of the salt lakes of the islands just out of Port Perry, just um, uh, off the highway. You may recognise that one too. Once again, you notice coming in the layers and the horizon, which I like. Uh, but you might notice that I've gone back to a slightly more realistic approach and the reason I'm doing that is this is, this is actually following on from the realism of the houses from Blackford. And the final painting that I've, uh, I've got there is um, the turn off to uh, Uluru off the Stuart Highway and it's just fabulous colour. And if you haven't been there, yes it is that red. So I've been making pottery all this time, uh, since I first uh, began visual art teaching 40 years ago, about 50 now, I've been retired then. Uh, but once again, quite recently, I've changed my technique and I've developed these earthenware pots. Uh, all my pots are sculptural, really. They're not meant to be used, they're not really functional. They're just meant to sit and look nice. They're all indoor pots. Uh, they're hand-built. I use, I throw the base on a wheel, then I build a whole form up with coils. Then I smooth it out. Uh, I do that because I've got more control right over the whole form of the pot rather than throwing on the wheel. And I don't like throwing on the wheel, I just find it a little bit tedious. So they're all one-offs. 
uh, and the glaze is a uh, earthenware glaze, it's slow fire, really nice bright colours and my innovation is I've begun to use some gold busters uh, which um, is a lot of, it's not easy but it's fun and I really love the contrast on the red, it just sets the glazes off nicely. I really love you to pop in. Uh, I will personally be here on the Saturday morning from 10 to 1 and the Sunday afternoon slots from 2 to 4.30 all the weekend through June. Long weekend, I'll only be here on Sunday afternoon.